Welcome back to the shop, guys. So my question is, can you buy useful woodworking tools on Amazon for less than $10? After today's video, I think that you will agree that you can, so stick around. It was about a month ago when I went through Amazon and I picked out woodworking tools that all cost less than $10. In other words, in this box, there's a bunch of tools and each individual tool costs less than $10. So it's really just a coincidence that today is uh, Amazon Prime Day. That wasn't uh, intentional or anything, but it is kind of cool. So let's go ahead and pull out the first tool and we'll see what, uh, we'll see what it is. So this, the first tool actually um, I've been using because I've been working with pallets for the last uh, couple a couple weeks and I, and I bought a, a glue roller. So this glue roller is uh, made by True Power. It's a, it's a wood uh, glue roller bottle. And the way it works is you put the glue inside the bottle and then there's a small hole and it drips out of the hole when you squeeze it onto this roller brush and then you can roll it on to, uh, onto your material. It's been helping out a lot with the uh, pallet wood projects. So for this tool, I paid $7.62, and for sure, it's been worth that. So the format of today's video is we're gonna move kind of fast through the products in the box. If you'd like me to do an independent review on any of these tools, I'll be happy to do that. You just gotta let me know in the comments section. All right, so the next tool I got here is the Stanley uh, Pocket Knife. I have been using uh, this Stanley knife actually for several years and I, I use it to build my treadle lathe and also my workbench. This tool has been really nice. Uh, I've been using it now for several years and I only paid $9.99 for it. I can remember uh, Cody with the Wrangler Star channel talking about this a couple years ago and how he recommended it as well. But man, I can't, tell you, I can't say enough good things about this, uh, this, this pocket knife. I actually don't use it as a pocket knife. I use it more as a marking knife for my woodworking. This is actually pretty fun because it's been a while since I ordered this stuff, so it's hard to even remember what I ordered. So the third tool that I found on Amazon is the Powertech Deluxe Magnetic Push Stick. I've sort of worn out my uh, table saw push stick just from cutting it on the blade, so I, I thought this might be a useful tool for me. So for this tool, I pay $9.99, and it's a, it's a pretty bulky tool. Uh, it fits pretty nice in the hand, and it also has these mag, uh, magnets here that you could stick it to, to like the side of your table saw if, it, if it's metal. So uh, probably not a bad buy for $9.99. Okay, so we're moving right along. So the let's see, the fourth uh, tool that I found on Amazon for less than $10 is this uh, Gluebot um, Gluebot glue bottle. So the Gluebot uh, glue bottle um, costs uh, seven dollars and ninety nine cents and has a sixteen ounce capacity. It's got a couple different uh, nozzles that appears here for squirting the glue out. So um, I think this will this will come in pretty handy as well um, with working with all the pallets we're using right now. Man, I love a good deal. I know you guys do too. So that's one of the reasons I'm making this video. So the, uh, the fifth tool that I found is the Rockler Bench Cookie Finishing Cones. So there's four of these little bench cones in the pack. And um, what they are is they are uh, just a, a, a sort of a, a device that holds your work up off the table. And if you're applying a paint or stain, it would make it easier to get to the whole area. So the price of these have actually gone up a little bit since I got them and it looks like now they're $10.14. So uh, 14 cents over $10. But uh, yeah, these are... Uh, um, so it'll be interesting to see if these are, are useful or not. So I'm gonna put a link to all these tools in the, uh, in, in the description of the video. That way you can go check out those, uh, these products if you want to. So let's see, we've done one, two, three, four, five. Uh, number six is a um, silly brush, uh, a glue brush. It's got a brush on one end and also a scraper on the other end. So I paid $5.99 for this brush. So the next one is the Clark Brothers hook knife. I don't know how well you can see that. So it's essentially just a knife with a hook on the end that you can use for scraping. And like I, I can imagine using this if you're going to uh, make a spoon. 
you, to kind of groove out the the the, uh, the concavity for the for the spoon. And it also actually comes with a little leather little leather holster there or or leather blade guard. So this was nine dollars and eighty eight cents. So don't forget while you're watching to be thinking about which one of these which ones of these tools you'd like me to do an independent review on. So the next one is the Irwin Marbles three quarter inch chisel. I'd heard a lot of good things about this chisel in the past and uh, I've been really wanting to try one out. I think for most woodworkers the three quarter inch chisel is the most used of all of their uh, chisels. So the chisel costs nine dollars and ninety nine cents and I gotta be honest I'm kinda hoping you guys would like me to review this one because I'm actually anxious to see to see see how well it's made and to see kind of the factory edge and uh, also how well it sharpens up and holds an edge. Uh, it really does uh, feel good in the hand uh, just just by holding it. All right, so we got two more tools left to go over, and honestly, I can't even remember what they are because it's been so long since I since I uh, since I ordered them. So I'll use my Stanley marking knife actually to cut the tape here and see what's in here. Ah, I remember now. So I seen this on Amazon when I was searching for for cheap tools, and uh, I thought it was interesting. I've never never used one before. It's actually a contour gauge. It's made by a company that I can't pronounce the name. I'll definitely put links in the description, but I paid nine dollars and ninety nine cents for it. Um, I believe it would be used. I can imagine this would be useful if you were uh, going to be building like a mantle or something um, around like some stonework and you could use this to contour around the stone to uh, you know to get to, to, to cut the wood to fit. Uh, I, I can imagine that's what it would be used for, so we'll definitely try this out with some projects coming up. All right, so we got one more tool here to take a look at, and it's also wrapped up, and I can't remember what it is either. Ah, a bastard file. Man, every woodworker needs, a, needs one of these. It's got different grits on the ends, and... Um, Anytime you can find one of these uh, cheap, I would definitely pick it up. You can use these for all sorts of uh, useful projects and woodworking. So this one is made by a company called Atopoli. I hope I'm uh, pronouncing that right. And it was uh, $8.70 um, on Amazon. All right, guys, so that's 10 woodworking tools that I found on Amazon. Every one except for one uh, was less than $10 and the most expensive was $10 and 14 cents it looks like. So anyhow, um, I want to hear from you as to which ones you'd like me to do an independent review on. So I'll put the link to each one of these tools in the description so you can check those out if you'd like to. Now these are going to be affiliate links to my channel. Um, if you happen to purchase one of the tools, it doesn't cost you anything extra. It just kind of helps the channel, uh, helps support the channel. So. so I think I probably got a pretty good deal on a couple of these tools. Let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know which ones you want me to review and be sure to leave a thumbs up if you like the video. So anyhow, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.